This little piece of plastic might be one of the most dangerous things I've ever made, which I don't know about you, but that uh, makes me a little nervous. Now, you might be wondering what this is for me to think that it's so dangerous, unless, unless it's in the title and then you guys know what it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I made it and how it works, and then I wanna tell you what I hope to do with it. So if you don't really care how this thing works or how I made it, go ahead and jump to the timestamp at the bottom of the page, it'll bring you right to the fire and explosions. But for the rest of you nerdy people out there, I'll go ahead and jump right in. So if you were guessing that this was a flamethrower, you're actually not quite right. It does produce a lot of fire, but it's actually a swirl injector for a rocket engine. Uh, this right inlet here is where the fuel comes in. It is spun clockwise as viewed from the bottom, and it sprays out of the end of the nozzle in a cone shape. The air comes in on the left side here and it's spun counterclockwise, the opposite direction to, of the fuel, and it comes out and impinges on that fuel flow and atomizes the fuel and mixes in the oxygen enough so that it gets a very complete burn. I printed the injector using PETG. It's the same plastic used for water bottles, and it's really strong and has a high melting point. It printed in under three hours with no supports and 100% infill to keep a good airtight seal. So with no airflow, you can see just how consistent and symmetrical the fuel flow is being spun out of the nozzle. And when airflow is added back in, you can see how tiny the droplets are that are being produced. After hours of research and design, and about 11 different prototypes, I finally had an injector that I was happy with, and all that was left to do with it was to test it. No. Even fight. Okay. Uh, are your hands cold, Sam? Not right now. Okay. Well, we'll help you with that. Cause what? <laughs> <laughs> you will not get hit by it. But uh, are your are your hands cold yet? No. Well, okay. We'll wait a couple more minutes, and we'll wait for your hands to get cold. The box isn't working, so he's doing it with uh, just the raw leads. Okay. Cool. You feel safe? No. <laughs> Do you want safety glasses? Is that a real offer? Well, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna like offer you safety glasses. I'm like, ha, psych, no safety glasses. Okay, go. All right, three, two, one, go. Jeez! <laughs> oh, Hold it on. What did you do? Totally safe, keep going. Okay. Oh, it's out now. Three, two, one. So the reason I made this injector is to eventually make a rocket nozzle around it that can last just long enough before blowing up or melting to make shock diamonds. If you don't know what those are, I'll put a link in the description to a Wikipedia page about it. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it.